Here we go, adaptive light defective problem. So what we can do about it? Actually, everything is pretty easy. Just hold on, click the subscribe button, give a like button and let's go. In this case, we had an Audi A6 C6, um, but actually it can be any of these Audis, actually A4 as well. So if you don't want to fix them, because usually there is a lot of video how to check these motors with leveling systems and stuff like that and all the vehicle level sensor and when you turn the steering wheel the lights turn and stuff like that if you don't want it to do it and you want to get that flashing annoying light out of your dash just go ahead and do a coding so what you need actually anything what can code the vac like this case we have a vac coding basically we see this rostage and just connect it to the OBD. After opening the VCDS, just go into the 55 module headlight range control and see if there is any fault codes. Let's go. Fault codes and dynamic cornering light motor, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And actually, you don't want all this stuff to be fixed. Output range, power, and stuff like that. What you need to do, just code this thing out. First of all, what we're gonna do we're gonna definitely knock these fuses out so just knock this plastic off it's pretty easy here you go the plastics and in here you go into the fuse 18 so where it is look 18 5 amps automatic leveling corneling light system there actually is even numbers in here look just get the fuse 18 out and as you can see there is number 18 so 18 is out in this side and another side yeah actually you have a spar fuse and go in another side now let's let's pop this knacker off and in this we need actually for another side it should have to be fuse 9 yes fuse 9 5 amps automatic leveling system rechts so it means right side so let's go to the 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that one have to come out done fuse 9 is out don't panic don't rush after that you will get still fault on look it's nothing changed still we have a fault but now we need to do a coding so let's go actually it doesn't matter where you do the first thing but all of you need to do three things so you need to go into the central electronic do the coding instrument cluster do the coding and 19 can gateway so 19 can gateway 17 instrument cluster 09 central electronics it doesn't matter which one you do first so let's go by the instrument cluster because we need to code this thing out of the instrument cluster to get this thing out of it to not get any more that bloody fault on so let's go in after it's recognized it, you go straight into the coding. You don't need any pin codes, nothing, stuff like that. You go into the coding. We have a code. And all of these, what you need is very simple. It's very, very simple. Oh, it's knowing sound, adaptive lights. Look on this. I hate it. I hate it. So, what you need to do, what you need to do. Let's zoom it in. Look very closely here. Can you see this? 0064 advanced front light system AFS installed and adaptive cruise control installed yes actually what we want to do we won't get these number out then this is not actually installed in here so let's go ahead and do it so after you selecting your coding just click do it and you are done here the next thing where I like to go is, so let's say central electronics, yes. We won't go to the central electronics, we can read fault codes if we want, but we're not gonna find any code here, don't go back, but where we have to go is coding again. So and there the same thing, look, we have plenty of codes what we can write in, but we want exactly to replace number three. The code is very easy, look on the top, you have 0, then you have x, x and question mark, which that means question mark 
which one of these numbers you want to put in place of a question mark. So question mark holds in the 1, 2, 3, into the 4th place. So, now, as you can saw probably, the number is 3. So that means Big Xenon headlight with adaptive front light system, AFS. That won't be switched off. So what we want is actually number 2. So that means just Big Xenon headlights. We can do another headlines if we need it, but we need big set on headlights without AFS, automatic leveling system. So, number two. Yes, we clear. So after that, we're gonna go in here and let's count. One, two, three, and four. Here you go. Just go back and put the number two, because that means big set on lights and just click do it button after the clicking do it button you just little wait till you get the done message and perfect look coding accepted so you press ok and you can go to the coding and as you can see here yeah it says blah blah what do you want to do what do you want to code no 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 here we go we see our number is number two so that means job is done in here so we go close controller and the last one is the 19 actually it can be the first one like I said it doesn't matter which one you go first so in the CAN gateway in all gateway we are not gonna go to the coding we go to the installation list yes because we want exactly things what have to be in the installed so steering angle sensor yes engine mm, I don't know how we can go without the engine automatic transmission yes we have automatic transmission ABS blah 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 but this is not the case what we want we want the 55 let's go to the 55 and yes look look headlight range yes that's what we want get out we don't need headlight range so just click in here look the mark is gone after that you just save the coding and it says coding accepted click OK button you can read the fault codes control module headlight range you set the clear codes yes codes is cleared none of the codes left you can rescan it again click the fault codes no fault codes and you click done and go back and don't go back perfect you recode 19 17 and 09 but the thing is the fault is still on your dash don't panic don't panic now is the most important thing you need to reset the dash by switching off ignition it's not job done so what you need to do is go to the fuse 15 where is my clipper here we go my clipper clipper peeper look and where's the fuse of instrument cluster oh this we have a spare one but we need to reset instrument cluster look fuse 15 can you see it 15 10, 10 amps combi get out so in, in German it means instrument cluster. So go ahead and find the 15. So counting by the count, so that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, look. That one just plap it out, full it out, look, the check it's 15 fuse, it's pulled off, so that means dash is replay, uh, reset. And just wait a couple seconds, that's what you need to do, wait a couple seconds. And take your fuse, 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 and put it back in. You can even hear how the panel dashboard or instrument cluster is clicking, flipping. And now the moment of the truth. Of course, I already test everything if you ask. But anyway, just for sure, turn the ignition on. Start the engine. And have to be perfect. Apply full brake wheel selecting rear. Yes, no problem. We have bonnet open, that's not a problem, but 
we don't have the flashing knowing light about your automatic headlights I never see those lights very useful so I think so this is the best way so again let's go quick through what you need to do the first of all remove fuse in here which is fuse 18 remove fuse in there which is fuse 9 then go into the OBD go with the we dash or anything we see this or whatever you like and go in these three models so 09 central electronics 17 instrument cluster and can gateway so these three systems and code all about the lights out of them so in the can gateway you need to uh, deselect point 55 which one is headlight range control in instrument cluster you need to do the coding without the automatic leveling control and the light control and blah 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 stuff like that and in central electronics you need to do what you need to do there exactly correctly you need to rewrite the code and set in place of a three give a number of two so that means simple big xenon lights so basically the number three was the big xenon with automatic leveling control so yes perfect we are back on the park position what can I tell you now if you still didn't click the subscribe button just go ahead and do it give a like share and I hope this video really really helped you out to get this system out of the car see you in the next video bye